is the top 15 kickers heading into week 12. Number one's Justin Tucker of the Baltimore Ravens. This guy, he don't miss field goals. He could kick them from anywhere on the field. And this week, we don't know if this ball game is going to happen. But Tucker, if he is going to play, he's top five in points each week. He's at Pittsburgh this week. He's going to have chances. He's going to have opportunities. I know Lamar Jackson's out no matter what in this game. So Tucker, they're going to might have to call on him for 50-plus yard field goals in this one if they can't really get deep into the red zone. So Tucker, I could see him have a huge double-digit game in this one because with RG3, a quarterback, I think they're going to be conservative, Baltimore, and run and throw short passes in this one. So Tucker... He might be lined up for four or five attempts. Number two, Will Lutz, the New Orleans Saints. Lutz here, he's been a good kicker. He's been consistent. He's in Denver this week. The altitude's good, but the weather might not be. But Lutz is a guy you could count on. He's another kicker that rarely misses field goals and usually hits everything he has. He hits him indoors. He plays it indoors most of the season. But this week at Denver, it could be a little shaky of a road, like I said, but Lutz is a guy you want in your lineup each and every week, and he's a top five kicker the rest of the way. Number three, Harrison Bucker of the Kansas City Chiefs. This guy, he scores a lot of extra points, and that's the problem. The Chiefs, they punch everything into the end zone, it seems. Bucker, he's missed a few extra points this season as well, which isn't good. But a guy in an offense like Kansas City that gets so many opportunities and red zone looks, he's a guy you can't turn away from. He's a guy you got to start. And he's a guy that could be a top three option each and every week. So I got him at three. Number four, Young Hoku of the Atlanta Falcons. This guy, he scores double-digit fantasy points for kickers each and every week, it seems like. Last week, he hit 250-plus yarders. And this week, he's back in the dome once again versus the Vegas Raiders. This ball game's going to be high-scoring, in my opinion. And I think Young Hoku, he's going to hit the uprights for one or two 50-yarders once again. In this one, so I got him ranked number four. Number five, Tyler Bass of the Buffalo Bills. Bass, what a B season he's had. And he's had double-digit fantasy points in four out of his last five fantasy games, including a 22 and an 18-point game. So this guy, he's top two in fantasy points for kickers. He's putting up running back numbers some weeks. And this week, he's going to have another game versus the Los Angeles Chargers where it's going to be high-scoring. And I could see him getting a lot of opportunities in this one. So Tyler Bass, also, he's available in 87% of fantasy leagues. I don't know how. So if he's out there, go get him. And he's going to have a top five performance this week. Number six, Jason Sanders of the Miami Dolphins. He's the best fantasy kicker this season. And he's got another amazing matchup this week at the New York Jets. You know the Jets give up a bunch of points. Miami, they don't finish every drive. And Sanders, I could see him kicking four or five attempts in this game. And a few from 40-plus. So Sanders, I think he'll have a good game. I think he's going to reach double digits. And I think he's number six this week. Number seven, Daniel Carson of the Oakland Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders, that is. Carson here, he's had a quietly good fantasy season. I believe he's top five in fantasy points. And this week, he versus an Atlanta team that gives up a bunch of fantasy points to kickers. And Carson... He's going to be indoors once again. He don't miss pretty much it. And the Raiders, they're going to get in a lot of red zone and scoring position, I think, in this game. So I think Carlson, he's going to get double digits and have another good game. Number eight, Ryan Suckup of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Suckup, he's been pretty solid most of the season. Tampa Bay, it seems like when they verse good ball clubs, they got to settle for three. And that's what happened last week for Suckup versus the Rams. And I think it's possible this week versus Kansas City, he's going to hit three or four field goals in a game that's going to be up and down the field in a shootout. So I like him in number eight. Number nine, Jason Myers of the Seattle Seahawks. It's about time he's starting to finally get field goal attempts because he hasn't got many attempts the whole season. I think he has eight or nine attempts. This Seattle team early in the year was punching the ball in the end zone a lot. But now, this week, they're in Philly. I think they're going to have a lot of opportunities to score. And Myers, he's going to get probably 8 to 10 points in this one versus Philly. Because Philly, they really can't stop anyone. And Myers, he hasn't missed this season a field goal. So this week, I got him in 9. Number 10, Zane Gonzalez 
of the Arizona Cardinals. He's been pretty solid for most of the season. This week, he's got a New England team that bends but don't breaks on defense. Says Gonzalez could get many opportunities and chances if Arizona can't punch it in the end zone. And that's what New England's defense does. It holds you to three points a lot. And this week, Gonzalez, he could have many attempts and a good amount of points. Number 11, Rodrigo Blankenship versus the Tennessee Titans. He's at home indoors this week, which is obviously great for kickers and the environment. So Blankenship, I could see him have a good game once again. Last week, he hit the game winner versus Green Bay. And this week, I think he'll hit a few field goals versus Tennessee. He had a few shaky weeks in the middle of the season. But Blankenship, he's been solid most of the year. He was leading the league in fantasy points for kickers most of the year until recently. So this week versus Tennessee, I like him as well. So go play him. Number 12, Brandon McManus of the Denver Broncos. He's back home where this guy has the good altitude. The ball carries over there. But this week, I just don't like the matchup that much for McManus. He's got a versus a tough Saint team that don't give up many points. This Bronco offense, they're in shambles, it seems like. And this Saint team, they might only hold them to three or six points in this game. So McManus, I don't like the outlook in this one that much. And I don't like the matchup, like I said. And who knows what the weather conditions, how it's going to be in Denver. If it's going to be windy or snowy. So he's a guy I'm probably just going to stay away from this week. Number 13, Chris Boswell of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Boswell, he's only had two double-digit fantasy point games the whole season. But they're in the last two games. But this week, he's got the Baltimore Ravens. I don't know if this game's even going to go on this week, but we'll wait and see on that one. But anyway, Chris Boswell, I think the Steelers, they're going to score a lot of touchdowns and go for a lot of fourth downs here to put their division rival out for once and for all on this one. So I got Boswell at 13 because I don't think the opportunities are going to be there that much for him. Number 14, Joey Sly of the Carolina Panthers. He finally had a double-digit fantasy game. Last week for the first time in five or six weeks for the Carolina Panthers. This week they versed the Minnesota Vikings who give up the fourth most fantasy points to kickers. But this week Sly, I don't think he's going to have a lot of opportunities in this one for some reason. And I just like these other kickers better than him. And the 15th and final guys, Cairo Santos of the Chicago Bears. This week they go to Green Bay. But Santos, I think him and the Bears once again, they're going to have to settle for a bunch of field goal attempts. I think the Bears, they're going to play it safe a lot in this game with Mitchell Trubisky and just have a lot of short yardage and conservative play calling where they will have to settle for field goals if they got those opportunities. And Santos, he's a guy I had as a sleeper as well as kicker. So I could see him get double-digit points and a sleeper. So that's the top 15 kickers I got ranked heading into Week 12.